Hey guys, my name is Lunecroft. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this aircraft in Second Life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will post a link to this aircraft in in Marketplace down below in the description. Let's go. This is a great aircraft to start your aviation career in Second Life. Mainly because it's only it's only two hundred lintons. Hang on. Anyway, first of all, look at the hive. You have an autopilot, flap control, instruments, gear, landing gear controls, a fuel gauge, reverse thruster, co-pilot. You can reset the HUD if it messes up and you can set the throttle through here, but I prefer to use the E and C key. There's engines control, brakes, this is, this yoke is how, how wide do you want to bank? Like if you put it at tight, it will only turn at a, at a certain degree and not go anymore. Bank lock, I don't think that works. I tried it before. Bank lock, in my opinion, was to stop it from turning, but yeah, I guess that's to keep the aircraft level. There's camera controls, um, these, this control is to hide and show the um, post balls, I think. Let's see. It doesn't really show anything. You can do res the plane, and if it screws up, you can reset it. There's light controls. There's, see, perfect for landing in the dark. And there's also how long you have been flying in this aircraft, and how how far you traveled. The only downside of this log is I found it counted how how long I've been walking and such. There we go. There we go, we just took off. Here's the flaps right there. Learning it to show you, and the autopilot. Was, you can use it to um, take off, but is but I don't recommend you do that if unless you know how to really fly an airplane in 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 SL. Mainly because you'll you might hit us about full speed and and lose control. Of the aircraft. Um, let's go ahead and show you the autopilot. Let's set the heading to rest. This is then. This autopilot is great for for um, flying in a straight line because if you're like me. You, you'll you'll be hitting the A and D key trying to level up the aircraft all day and such. This is uh, the altitude seek. Uh, I don't 
don't, I've been trying to get it to work, but I don't know, don't really know how to. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Wait, alt set. Oh. Yeah, see, it doesn't really work that well. That's one downer of this aircraft. Um. And also, I noticed with the with the attitude indic the attitude instrument. In case you don't know what the attitude is, that that um instrument right there. Um, other words are the artificial horizon. Notice when I go into um, mouse look, it does it kind of screws up a bit. See? See? That's one thing I don't like. And another thing I don't like, look at the dashboard or the instruments on the dashboard. They, um, they don't have nice graphics. And look at the look at the back chairs. Another thing I like about this aircraft is there's three seats, so you can take three passengers, or you a co-pilot and two passengers. So I recommend this aircraft to you if you really want to get into. SL Aviation, but don't have the money for like a Boeing 747, which costs like, I think, 3.5k, if I'm, if I remember correctly. So, m my rating for this aircraft is, I'm gonna have to say, uh, a 9 out of 10. And to finish off this video, I'm gonna sh show you a really cool technique of landing with the autopilot on. Let me just. Let me just get it on. There we go. Hopefully, I got that working. Thank you. I'm using the reverse thrust to help me slow up more. Pulling down the flaps fully. Yeah. And that's how you land this aircraft using the hull, which is very, very useful. That's why I rate this aircraft 9 out of 10. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like down below and such. Share this video and if you have an item in Second Life that you would like me to review, please mention it in the comment section and if I buy it, I will m make a review of it. See you guys later. Bye.